Despite the availability of female condoms in the country, many people still have limited access to them due to their high cost, thus exposing women to HIV and AIDS and other sexually transmitted infections. Health professionals and experts from the National Syndemic Diseases and Control Council also say that there has been a reduction in free male condoms due to lack of funding, calling for the urgent intervention so as to control the spread of the disease. Kevin Mutai has more. The National Syndemic Diseases and Control Council is in Mombasa for the Maisha Conference, bringing together stakeholders to take stock of the HIV and AIDS status in the country. The council notes that a study conducted by the government shows that men are more vulnerable to risks associated to the disease, including death, with 30% of the reduced risk of HIV infections among women and teenage girls. At the time we discovered we have HIV in Kenya, the prevalence in the city of Nairobi was 14%. The prevalence of HIV in the Greater Nyanza region was 35%. That means one in every three people was living with HIV. Men and boys, the adherence rates to, to antiretroviral drugs is quite low as compared to men and girls. And although HIV is more prevalent among women and girls, we lose more men and boys to HIV because of one, uh, they don't come to the hospital early. Access to condoms is top on the agenda. Health experts noting that there has been a reduction of the free to use rubber across the country due to lack of funding. The most affected people are the sex workers who have the highest rate of HIV prevalence. You have the female condom, which also has, is now in the market, happens to be more expensive and uh, less easy to use. So they are, they, are, they are there and they are part of the different things we use in, the, in terms of preventing uh, sexually transmitted infections. Of late, you have seen statistics that HIV is coming back in a very big way, especially amongst young people young generation, the people between 18 to 24 years, that years, there's a lot of infections, new infections coming up. There is need for civic education. Data from the council showing that in 2022 alone, 4,400 children contracted the disease from their mothers during birth areas with new cases of infections include Garissa, Mandera and Samburu, with fears that the numbers will rise if the situation remains unchecked. This drug called uh, the Virapin. One tablet taken at the beginning of uh, labor and then to the baby soon after delivery, less than a teaspoon of that medicine reduced HIV transmission to the infants by 50%. There's a lot of stigma in the community. So one of our main objective was to see how can we destigmatize HIV and, and, and as people who had come out early we were trying to give HIV um, a human face. The council is now aiming at finding science-led solutions in order to control the spread of the deadly virus. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Numbas.